Hi, everybody. It's Teacher McFeely. It is Monday, and it's close to 11 o'clock in the morning, and I hope you're all feeling well. I hope you're all keeping safe, and I know you're doing a good job of helping your parents and helping your family at this time. I'm so happy to read you a story because it's my favorite thing to do, is to read a story to children. So I picked a book. The book is, is called One Afternoon. I picked this book because it's a story about a little boy who goes out with his mom to do things that um, we can't do right now because we're inside. But it helps us think about the kind of things we like to do and maybe the things that we will do when we can get back outside again after we're not on pause anymore. All right, guys? Okay, let's do a quick uh, preview of the book. Um, first of all, it's called One Afternoon uh, by Yumi Hale. And Yumi did all the pictures as well as wrote the words. And the pictures really helped to tell the story. In fact, the pictures, there's some sound words written in some of the pictures that really are great. So I hope you enjoy this. One afternoon, and there's a little boy, that's a little boy's name is Minho and his mom. It's gonna look at some of the pictures before we get reading the story. There's Minho and his mom. There's a clue of where they're going. Can you figure it out? What's he got in his hand? What's she got? Okay, I bet you have an idea. Here they are. They went to the laundromat. How do we know? Look at all that. See the lady with the basket of clothes? Look at these. Uh, the, remember I told you that this illustrator author likes to put sound words. Here's some of the sound words. Thump, thump, thud. Thump, thump, thud. That's how it sounds like in a laundromat. And where do they go next? Looks like maybe their Minho's mom is getting her hair cut. We're gonna find some words hidden in there too. Where do they go next? Ah, there's more sound words. Eee. Where are they? Ice cream store, ice cream shop. Looking at a store. What kind of store could that be? There's cats, dogs. What is up there? Some. What is that? Some mice. And oh, on the side, <laughs> I'm not sure how to do these pictures yet. There we go, over on the side, I see some birds. You know what kind of store that is, right? This, you may not know. This is the place where they repair shoes. They don't just throw them away. When the shoe's broken or ripped, they sew them, they fix them, they put on new soles. Great place, great skill they have. They go someplace else that I bet you can guess. Look at all the things around the edges. Look at the at the kind of cart. Where are they? Yep, supermarket. Where else they go? Back to the laundromat. And they're back in their neighborhood. There's a lot of noise in this book. Here's another one. There's some sound words. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. This construction. Okay, let's read the story now and find out how Minnow and his mom spend their afternoon. Here we go. Minho liked to do errands with his mother. One afternoon, they went to the laundromat to drop off their clothes. And then to the beauty salon to get his mother's hair cut. At the ice cream store, Minho got a vanilla cone. They looked in the pet store window at the puppies, the kittens, hamsters, and birds. I'm gonna read that again because I think I could read that more fluently if I reread it. They looked in the pet store window at the puppies, kittens, hamsters, and birds. Is that better? Okay, when we reread, sometimes we can make it sound better. They picked up his father's shoes at the repair shop. They got, oh, Miss McFeely. I got confused. Here we go, we're outside now. Traffic was very heavy on the street. A lot of traffic because of the construction. A fire engine tried to get through. 
go ahead, you can make the noise. 